Thank you for attending and welcome to a 10 minute tip from Brock Grain Systems. Hi, I'm Craig Smalligan, Senior Structural Engineer with Brock Grain Systems. Today, we're going to talk about five key points for a strong bin foundation. As a starter, let's look at what a foundation does and how much weight is involved with this. So what do foundations do? Foundations need to transmit the loads in the bin to the soil. This is both true for vertical loads, such as the bin shell and grain weight, but it also has to take horizontal loads. These loads are wind, and in some areas of the country, earthquake, also known as seismic loads. Let's look at an example. This is a show bin that we have over in Boone, Iowa. It is a 48 foot diameter bin that is 14 rings or 37 feet tall to the eave. This bin holds about 63,000 bushels. This turns into over 3 million pounds of grain. That's 1,500 tons. That is what we're asking the foundation to support. So the five key points for a strong bin foundation that we at Brock would like to highlight for you are as follows. One, make and follow a plan. Next, resolve soil issues on the foundation site. Third, make sure the concrete is level. Ensure the bin has proper anchoring. And finally, provide support for the bin's fans and stiffeners if applicable. Let's look at each of these in some detail. The first tip is to make and follow a plan. Part of this is to ensure that the foundation design is done by a professional engineer or the manufacturer's guidelines. You may have a really good concrete contractor that can pour a 24 inch deep footer, but that may not be what the bin design really calls for. The image that we have here is a screenshot from one of our manuals. Bins around 50,000 bushels or less have pre-designed foundations for 3000 PSF soils. What is PSF? PSF is short for pounds per square foot, and it's the measurement of the load that can be put on a soil. 3000 PSF is like stacking three bison on top of one another in a one foot by one foot area. That's a decent amount of pressure. For larger bins that fall outside of this scope, Brock can provide a foundation for you that is specific to your bin application. Next part in following the plan is to plan for the future. This means making sure you choose a good spot for your foundation. Don't put it over an older one or bar other buried items, such as gas tanks or tree stumps. Also, are you planning on making your bin taller in the future? Design the foundation for the taller bin up front. This will keep you from having expensive bin analysis and retrofits later on. Make sure you are using whatever grade is called out on the drawings. Don't substitute a grade 40 rebar with a grade 60 because the 60 one is stronger. The number two tip is to resolve soil issues. Perform a soil bearing test and get a written report on the soil bearing. This should be done for the stiffened bins and larger diameters. If a 48 foot diameter bin has 3 million pounds, imagine what a 60 foot diameter or even a larger tank would be. Or imagine that same 48 foot diameter bin, but two times the sidewall height. Without a soil report, you don't know how strong your soil is or how many bison you can put on top of it. So make sure you know that way there is not a risk of damage, such as high bin settlement, foundation cracks, or other types of issues. Within soils, remove susceptible soils, such as highly organic soils. These be can be called boggy, peats, or topsoils. Also remove other highly loose soils. Again, remember the three million pounds or the three bison from earlier? Can you imagine trying to build a bin and its foundation on the soils in the picture of the left. That would be a very difficult challenge. Other soils that should be removed are clay-based soils. Clay expands with very high levels of moisture and contracts with very low levels. This can cause settlement down in drier times or have the soil pushing up and heaving up the foundation in more wet times. Lastly, within soils is to take care when compacting soils. 
the lifts should be even in height and each layer should be compacted before the next one is placed. This will take a bit more time, but it'll be sure to save you lots of money in the future. The number three tip is to make sure that the concrete is level. The foundation levelness has a few requirements. First, it needs to be level within a quarter inch of variation over a 10 foot span. Second, there is an overall tolerance that will vary a bit by diameter, but it's usually around a half an inch. All this is done is to prevent the bin from being damaged. If these get too out of line, damage to the bottom ring, stiffeners, floor support, or even top ring could occur. Ships are intended to go under stiffeners, like was shown in this photo, but that is too many shims trying to count for on a level concrete. This should be avoided. Another reason to get a level foundation is to help keep water drainage from becoming a problem. Water should drain away from the foundation. Foundation cracking can happen from water pooling. This can also lead to base sealing issues or cause rusting on the bottom of the bin. See in the picture how the slope is back to the bin? There's cracking in the foundation and the bottom ring is rusting. Be sure to avoid this type of scenario. Ensuring the use and installation of proper anchoring is the fourth tip. Anchors need to be installed in all locations. This includes above any bin unload tunnels or aeration tunnels. For bins with fan entrances built into the bottom ring sheet, be sure that you install anchors on either side of that fan transition. Use proper and adequately strong anchors. For many bins, a 7 16 inch or a half inch diameter anchor will not be adequate. Brock ships anchors with many of our bins. We provide an option of cast in place anchors on the left and also adhesive anchors on the right. Be sure that this is the anchor that is put in the foundation. Lastly, within proper anchoring are general installation issues. One of the common ones that can be seen is in the picture here. This is likely an incorrect spacing or radius. Make sure that the anchors are round. The anchor of this picture will not be very effective in this manner and it needs to be avoided. Second, anchors that are too close to the edge of the concrete will not work well. Again, as seen in this picture, they're too close to the edge causing concrete cracking and spalling. Brock has taken the time to develop our own proprietary hardened washer because we recognize the importance of this portion of the bin and its foundation. So make sure you're using the correct washer and tightening the anchor nuts. The fifth and final tip for a strong bin foundation is to have proper supports for fans and stiffeners. Any opening in the foundation needs to be properly reinforced. This means a larger tunnel beam for bin unload tunnels and also for aeration tunnels on flush floor aeration. This includes concrete forms for the transition to attach to, but a steel plate on top of it to support the bin sidewall, and finally, if needed, a stiffener support inside the opening. The other part of support is for the fans. Fans should be supported according to the manufacturer's specifications. We at Brock think the best solution is a fan hanging kit, as can be seen in the photo here. This allows the fan to move and settle with the bin's foundation. If a separate pad is poured for the fan that doesn't settle, you'll end up with your fan transition all twisted and at a weird angle. Fans need to be designed and pre-balanced for this application, so make sure you ask about that for your next bin project. So to review, the five key points for a strong bin foundation. First, make and follow a plan. This means using a planned foundation design and putting it in a good area. Second, resolve soil issues on the foundation site. This means removing any bad or questionable soils that are on site and compacting the soil fill that gets placed back in. Next, make sure the concrete is level. This will help you ensure that you don't damage portions of your bin like the bottom rings or floor. Fourth, ensure the bin has proper anchoring. This means using the anchors that come shipped with the bin and put them in all anchoring locations. Lastly, provide support for the bin's components such as fan hanging kits. For more information on foundations and other 10-minute tips from Brock, visit our website at brockgrain.com tips. 
from everyone at Brock. Thank you and have a great day.